everyone, we're going to make birdseed covered birdhouses. And all you need to do is get an inexpensive birdhouse. And um, I drilled, this one didn't have any way to hang it. So I drilled two holes in the sides and put some twine through it. Glued it in place just to make sure um, that would stay. And we're going to cover it with suet. These make very attractive gifts and it's great for a hostess gift or the person that has everything. And all we're going to use is um, shortening, which I'm heating on the stove, um, birdseed of your liking. We're going to do a um, sunflower on the roof and a lighter birdseed on the side. Um, you can add some peanut butter to this if you want. Whatever you have at home, if you have some stale bread, you can work that into it. Um, some grainy crackers, a um, little bit of honey, kind of go crazy with the, the different things that you want to put in there, but um, just make sure it's bird safe. What I've done to prepare this birdhouse, because they are balsa wood and they're very inexpensive, I did take a paintbrush with the melted shortening and I put it on here so that it could soak into the wood and um, seal it a little bit so it'll last a little bit longer. You can get a more expensive birdhouse if you would rather and that would be fine. The first thing I'm going to do is I've mixed the suet and I'll tell you about that first. The suet consists of vegetable shortening, um, bird seed, whichever bird seed you would like to get. I'll give you a little bit of a closer look. Um, I have mixed in some dried cranberries. Raisins work well. I threw a little bit of honey in here, um, some crackers, um, very organic crackers that tasted like bird seed to begin with that we didn't care for. Um, I put that in there and then I put um, just a little bit of honey. You could put a little bit of peanut butter in there as well, um, but you don't want peanut butter alone. So when it starts to set up again a little bit, you just want to take it and start pressing it up against the birdhouse. And it's going to solidify on the birdhouse. as it cools. So do the one side. Um, and I had done the mixture of the different things for the sides and I did a sunflower seed which is dark for the roof. roof. So I thought that would look kind of nice. So all you have to do is kind of work your way around. You could put it in the fridge between, between coats if you want. And I put some parchment paper down to kind of save on the cleanup after because it does get a little bit messy, but it is well worth it. I've covered the sides and the bottom with the seeds, and now I'm just going to do the top with the sunflower seeds. And then again, you're going to want to um, let it cool. I put it in the refrigerator between the layers. And these are the suet cakes that I made with the excess seeds that I had. And I put them in a paper cup, just squished them down, and they slid right out after I refrigerated them overnight. And I might string them together and hang them so that the birds can eat them too. If you have a larger suet feeder, you can do that. Um, or you could put it in some netting. Or 